What's your name? How long have you been working here? My name. My name's Keith. Shut <laughs> up! Your name's Rookie. My, I'm sorry. My my name's Rookie, and uh, I, I've been on the job for, for two weeks now. They they treat me real. Shut real up! Nice. Nice. Ah! Oh damn! It. <laughs> but uh, I I just I'm. <laughs> I respect everyone who works here with all my heart, and we're, we're just here to do the right thing. Get him off of the for screen! America, for America, and I think it's time that I need to go. What's your name and how long have you been working here? Uh, my name is Big Joe, and I've been working here with my brother Wayne for 23 years. And uh, not to brag or nothing, I'm the strongest one on the force, and I set the record for killing the most illegal immigrants. Is that what you feel about that rookie? Don't ever mention Rookie's name in my interview! <laughs> What's your name and how long have you been working here? My name's Earl. I've been working here for 23 years with my best friend, slash brother, Big Joe. He's a really nice fellow. So what's the deal with him and Rookie? What do you mean? Rookie's a real nice guy. I, I see him hanging out a lot. I think the Rookie's really starting to get a real nice bond with Big Joe. My, my brother, he, he has a weird sense of showing love. He was beat as a child, and he just sometimes can't get put past it. Hello. Hi. This is just part of my duty around here on the border to clean up and respect all of those who have served before me. I respect them all with all my heart. And Shut up, rookie! You sound like one of them. He is my weird. best friend. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll do better. Oh, oh, son of a bitch, rookie made me drop my hat. Hey, that's real nice, brother. Hey, show him that one I taught you. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> so, what happened the other day between you and Big Joe? Hey. Oh. Uh. It was, it was all just out of brotherly love and respect for one another. We we like to play. We like to play with each other around, around here just to have fun, and uh, it just makes life on the border a, a little easy. And uh, I respect him I and hope that he has luck in his future endeavors. I'm gonna I'm gonna go now so he doesn't get mad. Hey rookie, we're going over there into them trenches. Watch us. Yes, yes sir. Right now, we are going over there to check them their trenches because you never know when a midget Mexican is hiding in them their trenches. And uh, it is very dangerous, that's why they put the two most highly skilled officers on the job. This, we take this part of our job really seriously. Just to show you, Gooch, go get cover. We got some people coming over here. That's good, that's good. Rookie, are we clear? Damn, Rookie! Rookie, wake up! <laughs> rookie said we're clear. Fuck, we'll go to that tree, go, go, go. Earl! Go here! Go here, Earl! Okay, go get go with your hat, Earl! Oh shit, man! Cover fire! <laughs> I just took a lot of cover and fire. There's some tangos over there. One ran behind the shed. We're gonna try to go get him. We're gonna really try to go get him. He's like, ah, Alright, I'm gonna go investigate that shit. Hey, go get him. I got your cover and fire. They took oh Big God, Joe. Got your they took your Big Joe. Run. We'll go get him. Oh, take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, Big Joe. Take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Big Joe. Rookie. I forgot to put ammo on you. Rookie. 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 R
take the Those shot! Boy on the Rocky, take the Those shot! Boy on the I can't see anything! Oh. He did. Get it, get it. Give it a grenade! So what happened on your patrol last night? Well, we saw a couple midget Mexicans running down in the trench and me and Big Joe decided we were going to go take patrol and there's a few, we saw a guy run right into the shed and Big Joe got really, really excited about it because he wanted himself a little midget Mexican and he went and took him in. and then Big Joe, I think you can take it from here. What, what, what did he do to you? Well, we had a Mexican male, hot. 5'4", weight 127 pounds, and uh, he had a big old stash on him too, so I knew he was Mexican for sure. And uh, I, all I heard was him yelling some Al Qaeda stuff like tacos and tilatas chimichangas. And uh, next thing I knew, he had a grenade next to my head, and well, uh, I kind of blacked out from there. But next thing I knew, I heard rookie got a kill shot somehow. I know dumb bastard just did, and he got the Mexican for me. I didn't think about your kill yesterday. Well, I, I got, it was my first one. Oh, I'm, I'm real happy about it. I was, uh, I was a little nervous. I got a, a little bit of butt juice in my pants. I tinkled a little bit, but other than that, I, I saved Big Joe, and I think he's gonna be real proud of me. Uh, hopefully our relationship, even though it was good before, and there was nothing wrong with it, and I respect him, it's gonna be better now. And I need to go change my underwear. Right you know, Big Joe, Rookie showed a lot to me today, and he saved your life. And I feel like when Granddad gave me that grenade, he told me to use it for purpose. I think he deserves that grenade. What do you think about that, Big Joe? I think he's still a puss, but I think he earned that grenade. I think we should throw him a party. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, you know I love parties. No, no beer drinking this time. Uh, I'll give you to a minimum of 10 beers. Okay, fine. All right, well, we got to throw away this Mexican. Uh, hey, I want to get a few pictures with it, though. All right, all right. All right, no, that was good. That's it, friend? Yes. Hey, rookie, get over here. We got something for you. Pop a squat. Rookie, you showed a lot to me today when you shot Big Joe's assailant. And a long time ago, my granddad, when he was drunk, gave me this here live grenade. He said, do never pull this pin unless you want to die. And it means a lot to me, and I feel like you should have it. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, it... It means a lot. This right here, it just uh, it really touches my heart. All right. <laughs>